And I reckon, Gary, you've had probably the best moment of your career without playing. Welcome Good to, to be you. with you, boys. I've been away for four weeks yes. and doing you down the line. So to be here with you guys is great and sharing. I, I cannot wait to watch. I haven't seen the replay yet. I've watched Monday night couches since you've had these. I love seeing the coach and I've always wondered what it's like. Did you leave like. your voice at Optus starting too, did you? It's been a busy campaign. <laughs> I reckon you look, you look better on the TV than you do uh, in like life. Weary hey, soldier you. returning yes. from the front line the way he walks. It was unbelievable, the guys. Uh, thank you. Yeah. It's um, unbelievable. As I've said this many times. I can't wait to speak to Goody, who's yep. waiting, and uh, had some moments with him, which is I was just honoured and privileged. And I say it again and again and again. Everyone that couldn't be there, um, I felt for them all, and I was so lucky to be there and just loved all the support back here in Melbourne. It's been a very much a uniting victory, hasn't yeah, it? it? Has. I mean, you, yep. you can't replace the players, but uh, it's been uniting for the club. Yeah, it has. And, you know, um, from past players to supporter groups, I, I think it's all come together as a group. And this was just a moment that I, I would never, ever have dared let myself think about. And maybe if it wasn't in Perth, I wouldn't have done it anyway. But it was just... This year was, I don't know, I can't even remember what Goody said then, but he, mm. he gave me a hug out on the ground not long after We thought this. you were going to lift the cup up there with the boys. No, That's no, what we were cheering yeah, for. Give the cup and get <laughs> off. That's what you got to do because you know what's coming and look at them. Yeah. And, that, and then, I mean, these are the scenes that Melbourne people have been waiting for 57 years for and it was everything, boys, everything yeah. that I hoped and thought it might be and to have a view at close quarters, I'll never forget. It's amazing, Gary, when you think back to 2014, I mean... Nobody wanted to go to Melbourne. I mean, the draft was in trouble because parents were saying, yeah, we yeah. don't want them to go there. Gil McLaughlin in front of the board and said, well, you've got a big debt. Why should you maintain your position yeah. in the competition? And uh, eight years on, there's a flag. Gives hope to every club, Jared, that struggled. And um, I was there through some of that time uh, when I helped Jimmy out. At, and it was as bad as it could get. It's as bad as you could get a footy club. And here yeah. they are. They're in the most... Um, powerful position they've been in for a long, long time. So it's um, I, I can't wait for you boys to tell us how it all happened because I haven't seen it yet, so I'm going to sit back here and just enjoy the ride. Well, what about, what about uh, the, speaking of enjoyment, the, the great moments on the ground? Yeah. In, 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 in the pre-game and obviously in the aftermath as well. Yeah, so... The pre-game, you just the nerves were, were coursing through your veins and then post-game, this stuff here, it was a moment that... Um, that, 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 I got my boys there on FaceTime yeah. and the three yep. boys, and um, they were screaming like they just lost themselves. And then um, <laughs> I, I haven't seen this. Who was good at going back into the rooms at this stage? No, 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 no. Oh, this is just during the celebration. So um, I don't know. I, I just I've had such respect and admiration for that man there who's going to talk to us in a moment. But to see the joy on his face just was enough for me. I was happy. He was over the moon happy and, and he deserved every part of it. And there's my boys there who were just crazy. Petrarca grabs the phone in a minute and just runs off with it. And, they, and they, that's the highlight of their life. Swimming in the confetti seemed to catch on. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, they, they were doing, what do you call them? Snow angels in the ground. Yeah, yeah, confetti angels. Yeah. Confetti angels. So, yeah, that's them talking to my three sons, which got, that's when I really got emotional and thought, Jesus, yeah. how good is this? What was it like? Did it feel like you're at the MCG with the crowd noise during the game? Yeah, yeah I wasn't really thinking about the MCG, Brownie, to be yeah. honest. I was just, I don't know, I was just immersed in this game from the start to the finish. And, um, you know, when we got 19 points in that third quarter, we started to, to get a little bit concerned and worried and... Um, I want to thank these boys for allowing me in. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not, you know, there's closer ex-Melbourne players that, because of what we do, I don't, you never get as close as, as that. Mm. But I just felt, you know, I felt deep back immersed into this group and I, I love them for allowing me in.